Welcome to Angop's National Highlight. In this edition, we bring up a special reporting on the life on the border post between the Angola's Lunda North province and Democratic Republic of Congo. In this piece of work, we'll show a scenario that worries and raises questions about the border protection activity, a silent war that demands sacrifices. Please join us. Lunda North is a diamond land the source of wealth and mass immigration. Patrolling the territory and ensuring the inviolability is a hard task. Lunda North Province lies northeast and borders the Democratic Republic of Congo to the north and to the east. Its territory covers an area of 103,760 square kilometers. Its border with the DRC is 770 kilometers long, of which 650 is a landline and 120 kilometers of river. It is patrolled by two units of the border police. The border line is demarcated by bush passes and river streams. There is no harmony. This shows well the scenario of fight on the borders. More than 14,000 illegal migrants are neighbored every year, 400 repatriated every week and hundreds detained every day. The difficulties also trouble the fiscal and custom authorities alike. Dozens of forfeit or undeclared goods are seized every day. What, after all, is behind these figures that stand and give the authorities sleepless nights? The officers complain about the lack of passes and the bad condition of the assessors. Reaching some border posts is a test of courage, determination and patriotism. They are uneven passes, obstructed by trees, branches, sandy grounds and water pools. Even for our team, the difficulties were tremendous. During rainy seasons, only those who know alternative passes can make to the posts. This makes patrolling harder and boosts border jumping. The migrants enter in their thousands through routes, which do not come on maps. The main routes of entry are Sandumba, Fortuna, Shisanda, Lupemba, Chume, Furtres, Moakese, Kangamba, Itans, Nordeste and Moakanika. Specialists in the combat of illegal immigration are well acquainted with the techniques to handle the invasions, but lack of appropriate means hinder their performance. They patrol 34 border marks. The 7th Border Police Unit patrols 22 of 24 controlled markers. Another 7 are in regular technical condition. The unit also controls 10 damaged marks, 5 totally destroyed and 2 awaiting to be erected. The 6th Unit of Luremo has under its control 3 municipalities. The 6th Unit of Luremo has under its control 3 municipalities and 10 border marks, one of which still to be localized, the mark 34. Of its 9 localized markers, 5 are in advanced state of degradation, while another 4 have been restored. It is thus against this backdrop that the forces secure the integrity of the territory. However, despite the lack of technical and material means, the forces do their best to control the violations. If the illegal immigrants manage to enter through the so-called Fiote routes, another operative work is called into play, that is of the Migration and Foreign Service CME. Over the last six months, a total of 1,470 illegal immigrants were neighbored in CME routine micro-operations. They are mostly from DRC, Guinea-Conakry, Mali and Côte d'Ivoire. The arrests were made in diamond exploring areas, mainly in those of Lukapa, Kambulu, Shitato and Kwangu. The figures point to a drop of 30% of cases as compared to the last six months of 2013, but the work remains hard. Riding Lunda North of illegal immigrants will require a huge effort on the part of the authorities, especially regarding to the restoration of the markers and harmonization of the border. The combat is launched and the authorities' help cry has been heard. What will it be like from now onward? 
Thank you for your attention. We'll see you in our next edition.